On a fire pump system, there is a jockey pump. Same as other pump, it will run when water pressure drops to a certain value, and stop when it reach the desired pressure set point. A pressure switch is needed for this operation. In this video, we will learn how jockey pumps works, and how to calibrate the pressure switch. A jockey pump is a small pump connected to a fire sprinkler system, to maintain pressure in the sprinkler pipes. This is to ensure that if a fire sprinkler is activated, there will be a pressure drop, which will be sensed by the fire pump's automatic controller, which will cause the fire pump to start. In jockey pump pipeline, a pressure gauge was installed, to monitor the pressure value of the system. And right after the pressure gauge, a small pipeline was tapped to the main line, for pressure switch. And this is the pressure switch. A pressure switch operates in electrical contact when a certain set fluid pressure has been reached on its input. The switch may be designed to make contact either on pressure rise or on pressure fall. Pressure switches are widely used in industry, to automatically supervise, and control systems that use pressurized fluids. In this system, the cut-off pressure set point is set to 120 psi, and the cut-in pressure is 90 psi. Meaning, jockey pump will start pumping when water pressure in the pipeline is 90 psi, and it will stop when water pressure reach 120 psi. Okay, let's calibrate this Alco FF4 pressure controls. Alco FF4 series of Presso stats are suitable for a wide range of industrial and commercial applications. The pressure of the monitored medium operates against a flat diaphragm, bellows, or a plunger, depending on pressure range. Low pressure on the diaphragm closes contact 1 and 2 terminal. This can be used as a run signal for a pump or compressor motor. If pressure exceeds the upper switching point, contact 1 and 2 terminal opens. We will use pneumatic pressure hand pump, to apply pressure to the pressure switch. And connect wire 1 and 2 to the multimeter, in continuity mode. The terminal 1 and 2 get close contact at 40 psi. And open contact at 100 psi. Referring to the jockey pump cut in and cut off pressure, we need to adjust this pressure switch at 90 psi for cut in, and 120 psi for cut off. Upper and lower switch points can be adjusted independently of each other, using a screwdriver. The two switch points are indicated on the scale inside the unit. Ok, let's test it again. Cut off at 120 psi. Let's release the pressure. And cut in, a little bit below 90 psi. Need a little more adjustment. Now, let's have a look, on how pressure switch works on a pump system. Pressure switch is in open contact status, if we run the system in manual, pump will run. If we put in automatic mode, the pump will not run, pressure switch is in open contact. Meaning, the pressure in the system is in cut off pressure value. 
and when the pressure drops, the pressure switch will close, and the pump will run. Please consider giving this video, a thumbs up. Every time you hit a like button, you help us growing our channel. Subscribe as well to notify you when there's new video uploaded. Thank you very much and have a good day.